In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint the scene behind me. Uh, if you can see, I've got a lovely kind of a bush jutting out over a background. The background I'm going to do kind of plain. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, make sure I make all my marks in the direction that everything is growing to give me an indication when I get back to the studio on, on how these things were. Okay, let's go and do some drawing. In this sketch, I'm going to use my graphite stick and I'm going to show you a different way of drawing and separating out detail from a scene. Uh, the image I'm looking at now is a, some tree shapes and some grass growing and then in the background there's a there's a kind of a raised piece of ground uh, that people walk along. Maybe we'll get some people walking on there uh, and there's also a nice oak tree and some houses in the background. So uh, let's make a start, let's make a mark. First thing I'm going to do is put in this horizontal line across the page, that's the, the bottom of the raised area. Now, I'm going to try and focus on this tree first of all. The shape here, it starts off, and I'm just using the pencil the, that, just to make some shapes here. That's okay. There's a trunk that comes up there sort of trunky shapes in there. Uh, do some down into there. And then there's the roof of this. Can't quite make it out. There's a roof that comes across there. Probably comes down there a bit before we start getting some more tree shapes coming in. And then so it's not quite as high, but again, I'm just, just stroking that in that comes like through there. Some bird holes there, and then put that roof shape in there. Uh, this comes down to here. We start to get the top of this, so this comes down into there. It's in the grass shape. Now, this I mean, I'm just doing this as a single shape, really. If I was doing this as a walk, I'd probably just do this in a Kind of a blue colour, I guess, just to send it right back to the. There we go. There's a dogs in the park today, which is nice. And we'll put a line through there. Just, and then, like I say, this is just really make that a better shape. And I'm just gonna carefully pinch out that shape there. So we can get a better shape to it. It's a bird holes, I can say. There's a bit of tree that comes over there. Nice bump there. And then just making the shapes. Uh, there's another bit of, sort of twig. Uh, just correcting what I put down, basically. There we go. Yeah, so that's, and I'm gonna. There's a, there's a dark shape in there that is another massive tree trunk. I think so let's push that in. And then some twig shapes. I can see a tree growing up through there. There's another one. Oh, there's a lovely branch comes out through there. Lovely. I've probably gone a bit too mad with that. And uh, put some twig shapes up here. Not really following the line of the tree, just I'm not trying to put all of them in. Let's just put that in a little bit. A bit darker there. That's the tree trunk coming down. It's covered in ivy. And then there's a lovely dark in there, so I just want to get... That's going back and then that bush comes forward. And then, yeah, there we go. And then that bank, I think I'm going to leave that white. I'm just going to push, uh, bring that trunk down a bit. This tree's obviously been chopped down a bit. And there we go. Now, I need to deal with this tree shape coming down here. 
and there's some more tree shapes in the background there but I want to get this these grasses which comes out sort of shape like that and then they are just just use a very delicate stroke here just to get some of that in some little daisies and things it's like a wonderful subject for a watercolour so there's those lovely grasses I might just push that in oh there's a, there's a fella walking across here that's good we can get him in it's about there if I'm honest lovely is what we needed just a bit of interest in the middle of the picture there there's a, there's a man over here as well maybe we'll put the man over here in his head is just he's got a cap but we're just going to put that in so I've got his arms like that leaning back on himself and then put his eyes feet in there and just for that detail so there's a few people in there now He's actually out exercising his dog. If I can find his dog, I'll put his dog in. But, uh, so I just got a bit distracted there by. Uh, so now I'm just gonna put this. There we go. Just gonna mark out this bit of bush that comes down here. That's behind what is the bit that's causing me that the most hassles at the moment. It's this bit. But, uh, I'm gonna. And I've, again, just roughing with this piece of graphite stick. Just trying out, oh, there's a lovely piece of twig that comes out there, like that. And another bit that goes up there. And I'm going to kind of darken this bit down there here. It's fairly dark. And I'm going to bring it in dark around. We've got these grasses growing up into there and I push that in a bit to sort of just come in front of the, the grassy bit there so let's push that in and uh, there's some little twigs and things coming up so we'll put them in as well uh, I'm going to put that roof of that house in and then like I say, that's a raised bit that people walk along. Uh, darken some of this and put some, some grassy shapes in there. Just to indicate the edge of that bit of grass. some dark marks up here because we would see the edge of that and then I'm just again gonna use the gonna use the graphite stick just to give you a lead in make it look like there's a path being followed through there the man's gone now so we never see the dog I might put that just a bit darker but there's a tree that could be behind and a bit of a darker bush in there actually so let's push that in just to help this figure out a bit really make him stand out a bit of a shadow on that guy and then let's go and look at this uh, sky is very overcast today so I'm just gonna not too much actually just an indication really of uh, some sky there uh, let's just make that a little bit darker through there and then put some of these just some bits and pieces there 
that reef again, just darkening that reef as a, and then making those marks. There you go, I think that's another. So we can walk through the picture. So there we go, I'm just using a graphite stick to make some marks on the paper just to build up some of the shapes. Enjoyed that. Okay, so I'm back home now from my sketching trip to the park. Uh, I'm just having a look at the image and trying to work out if there's anything else I can add to this to maybe make it a bit clear as to what's going on. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to darken some of this. There's this tree here as well, which I just want to kind of... There we go, that makes a sort of a... Something a bit more interesting going on there. And again, this tree here. I'm going to make one side darker. There we go. Um, I'm not too fussed about this guy. I think he could uh, probably come out of the picture. But I do want to put a little bit more detail into this guy. Because uh, he was kind of interesting, sort of walking along there. And we're going to, just with a pencil now. Add in some tree bits. I love tree bits. Uh, just to make that a bit better. And um, we're going to come, going to make that a better tone in there. And that, just going to make that a bit darker through there. There we go, I think that's just cleaned up the image a little bit. So that's the picture I did from the park. <laughs>